welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I have decided it's January, it's a brand new year, 2017. I'm going to take the plunge and start my channel. Um, I've been speaking about doing this for a wee while now. Um, so Christmas Day when I opened my camera I knew it was time to get the finger out and get going with my YouTube channel. Um, I've been watching YouTube for ages, a few years now. Um, I definitely watch YouTube more than I actually watch normal TV. Um, I love watching girls like Mrs. Meldrum, Alexandra Garza, Fleur de Force, um, and quite a few more actually. Um, yeah, I just get so much entertainment out of watching them, it's crazy. Like, love where they're shopping, what they're buying, where they go on holiday. I'm just so in interested and inspired by them. Um, and they all look like they're having so much fun um, in their videos, so I thought why not try and give it a go myself. Um, so I've decided to start my channel, Frocks and Frills. Um, the reason why I call my channel Frocks and Frills is because I'm very girly, um, I often wear a dress, I love a frill, like I've got a wee frill on my top today. Um, so yeah, I decided to call my channel Frocks and Frills. So, I, for my first ever video, I thought I would do a shopping haul. Um, my channel will probably consist mostly of shopping hauls, um, general lifestyle, what's happening in my life, maybe a few holiday vlogs if I get myself round to booking a holiday. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just make a start. Um, so with it being January, I have, like most other people, been trying to get into uh, the gym more, trying to be more healthy. Um, you know, just, yeah, getting back into exercise. It's a bit of a mission, but I've decided that if I got some new clothes, some new gym wear, it would motivate me more to go. So I went and picked up some stuff from Primark, H&M, and I also placed an order with Sweaty Betty. So I will just go ahead and show you what I've got. Um, I will start with Sweaty Betty. Um, Sweaty Betty is not a shop I've ever shopped in before. I've been into the shop in Glasgow, I think, um, but never bought anything. I always grudge their prices, like £95 for a pair of leggings is just too, too much. Um, so I placed an order with them on Boxing Day when their sales started. Um, let's see what I've got. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I picked up from Sweaty Betty was this three-quarter length leggings in the black. Um, obviously, they're just black leggings with quarter length. I prefer the shorter leggings compared to the long ones. Don't know why, just personal preference. Um, obviously, they're made out of that, you know, the nice, quick drying, stretchy fabric. Uh, so, yeah, pretty tough with them. How much were they? They were £60. I definitely didn't pay £60 for them. Let's see if I can find the ticket. Okay, here's the ticket. They were reduced to £20, so that's pretty good, um, better than half price from £60. Um, the next thing I bought, oh I love this, love this. So this is just a wee uh, bralette, or sports bra, it's not a sports bra, but it's a wee bralette, you know, one of those kind of bra tops. Um, it's black and yeah, strappy, I absolutely love this. I can see myself wearing this on a night out with a cami top actually. Um, so yeah, how much is this? £40, quite expensive, I mean it doesn't have like good support, uh, there's a little bit of padding in the cups um, and it's obviously quite stretchy. How much was it before? Okay, that was £20, that was half price, so that was okay, I think I could pay £20 for that, I don't mind that at all. Uh, definitely think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. Okay, so the last thing I picked up from Sweaty Betty was this white tank top. Um, it's just got the wee, the racer back detail in there and the, I can't think of the actual word to describe this, the deep armholes, something like that, I'm not really too sure. Um, it's also split at the back, you can maybe see that. Uh, so I thought this is a great versatile top, you know, I can wear it um, over quite a few different bralettes. I definitely think it would be really cute with that black um, strappy bralette and the black leggings would be nice. £50, oh my goodness. I definitely wouldn't have paid £50 for this. Let me see how much I paid for it. Um, £25 for that top, probably a little bit excessive maybe grudge paying £25 for a plain white tank top 
but I guess I will get a lot of wear out of it. But yeah, Sweaty Betty is very dear. But yeah, it came in this cute little bag though. I thought this little drawstring bag with just the Sweaty Betty logo on it. I thought this was really good. I'll actually use this and put my dirty clothes in or my gym stuff and keep it, you know, nice and nice and tidy and in my gym bag. So yeah, Sweaty Betty, pretty good. Um, okay, moving on to Primark. I will start. I got a fair pile from Primark actually. Um, starting with socks, we ankle liners, and um, yeah, just grey and pink. There's three pairs in this pack. I have a bright pink pair of Nikes, so I got these to match them. They're like this kind of pink. So yeah, can't really go wrong. Three pairs for two pounds fifty. Okay, right. Now, these tops I absolutely love. They're just long sleeve, tight fitting, thermally tops um, with the quick dry fabric. I mean, there's nothing to them. They feel really nice. Um, but I love just throwing these on after the gym when you don't want to put your coat on or your jacket or whatever hoodie because you're too hot, you're too warm. But yeah, it's freezing outside so you definitely need a, an extra layer. Um, so this is £7 and they're great. I just love just throwing them on after the gym, like I say, uh, just to drive home in. Love that. Okay. Oh, this is another top. This is also pretty cool. This is also from Primark. Uh, so this is this black kind of tank top again with these arm pole things. I don't know how you, <laughs> what the word is. And there's a wee... Um, you know, like bralette top insert here which I think is really cute. I quite like this this look um, with the grey marl and the wee earn it on the on the band there. Uh, this was £7 but it's actually too big and I'm really really annoyed. It's a size 14 and I should know in Primark to always check the you know the the top or whatever because even though the hanger says a size 10 chances are it won't be a size 10 so I'll need to take this back and get my size but yeah I really really like that one hopefully I've still got my size what else okay so I've got another pair of leggings now I fully intended on going to Nike or Sweaty Betty and just like spending a bit of money, not a ridiculous amount of money, but getting a few pairs of just decent leggings that I'll be able to wash and just wear quite a lot. Um, because I feel like it's important to spend money on certain things and leggings are definitely, you know, if you get a good pair of leggings, they're not going to, um, you know, go see-through or they're either going to be of good quality, good... Um, good fabric but when I was in Primark I couldn't resist and um, I love the pink band on these so I've just picked off a, a few pairs so you know if they only last me a few times a few months even you know that's fine you know they weren't expensive how much were they eight pounds so yeah just another pair of black leggings they have kind of a mesh detail down the side and the pink band so yeah like I say if if they're rubbish, I'll just throw them out and replace them. It's not not a big deal. Okay, so another one of these grey, or one of these long sleeve top. This time is in grey. Um, yeah, I really like. I just love these. Like I said before, I've already got one, and um, a bright pink one that I wear quite a lot. So yeah, I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this one and the black one too. And a pair of leggings. Another pair of leggings. Now uh, these ones are long, I think, what are they, tight fitting ankle leggings and aside from the like ankle print pattern I actually really like the waistband on these, they're high waisted and they seem to be of really, you know, they're quite strong and um, yeah I think these are going to be really nice on actually and um, so pick them up and they were, how much are these, £8, can't go wrong. So if they only last me a few months, then it doesn't really matter. It's not like I spent a fortune on them. So that was that. And another thing I picked up was this blush pink racer back tank top. I am loving blush pink at the moment. And um, yeah, it's got a wee zip at the front here. I can't imagine I will ever have that unzipped. But yeah, it's quite cute. The wee mesh detail on the straps. And it was five pounds. So. Yeah, pretty good quality, good value for money. Uh, another blush pink 
um, item, a wee, a wee sports bra, bralette. Um, yeah, I don't really need that much support, so I'm quite happy for these, um, these kind of bra, bralette things. And this one was five pounds. So yeah, again, it's just got a bit of padding, um, and the tight band. So yeah, that's pretty cute. Um, yeah. So that is what I picked up from Primark. Oh, actually no, I got this bag, this gym bag as well. Again, in the blush pink, my favourite colour with the black straps. Um, it's got like a bigger strap, which I guess you could have across your body or on your shoulder. And then the hand, the hand straps, hand straps. Um, and this one was nine pounds. And I think this is ace actually. I've been looking for a gym bag for a wee while. Um, and this is a good size, it's practical, it can be wiped clean. Um, so yeah, really really like this, also from Primark, £9. Okay, moving on to H&M. So I picked up these navy and blush pink leggings. I think these are long leggings, yeah, with like black detail. I thought these were really really nice. Um, these are £17.99, so I picked them up. And I also picked up the little bra to match. I really liked the, the the strap details. I like straps. I like pink, and I actually like navy as well. So this kind of ticked all my boxes. And um, this was seventeen ninety nine as well. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure if I'm going to keep this because um, well both the bra and the leggings. I feel like it's maybe not worth the money. The stuff from Primark is a lot cheaper and it seems to be just as good quality. Um, so we'll see. I'll try it all on and see how I feel. Uh, so yeah, that was all my stuff from H&M. So I also managed to get myself a pair of new trainers. Um, these are grey New Balance trainers um, with the, the pink laces. I think they're really, really cute actually. Um, and I, like I mentioned before, I have a pair of bright pink Nikes. Um, they're not Roches or whatever you call them, but they are mesh and I have wide feet and I feel like my feet needs more support. I often um, get really, really sore feet after wearing them. Even if I just go for a walk or like not even like doing a proper workout, my feet will hurt. So I picked these up because they seem to be a lot more supportive. Um, yeah, they, even though it looks like they're mesh, they're not actually mesh, they're, I don't know, like material. Um, and the sole looked good, a bit of a thicker sole. My Nikes are like really bendy and flexible. Um, I know these are rubber, but they're more rubbery, if that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. Um, my descriptions are pretty crap. Um, so yeah, I picked these up. These are actually from Amazon. I got them on Amazon Prime, and I think they're only like £40, um, which is pretty good, because my Nikes were... I want to say about £90 and they hurt my feet so hopefully these will be better for me, better support. Yeah so that is all I picked up and um, quite a mountain of workout clothes but I'm hoping um, this stuff I got will last me all year and probably just top up as I go along. Um, but thank you very much for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and please stick around for more probably more shopping hauls, well definitely more shopping hauls and more lifestyle and other bits and bobs. Yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.